Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Bugs back with another MLB The Show 19 video. And no, it's not really your boy Bugs. Today, it is Poodle. You guys might know me, you guys might not. I'm friends with your boy Bugs. Boring! He really wants to make this video today. This is his favorite day of the week, Friday, MLB The Show videos, but he's caught up at work. So I got, um, I got bitched. So this is, this is my video today to make for him. Gonna hook you guys up. Uh, you guys won't be disappointed. I'm gonna see if I can handle this. I am new to MLB The Show, sort of. I know what I'm talking about, but I don't play as much as he does. My team's not nearly as good as he is, but I know what's going down, so. Also guys, don't forget, drop a sub to your boy Bugs. We'll try to get him up to about 500 subs and hopefully 1K within this month. Hopefully, that's the goal. He's been working hard, he's grinding. Also, let's drop likes. As per usual, boys, drop a like down below. Let's get us 50 likes. If we hit 50 likes, I will be giving away 10K, and the only, way you, the only thing you need to do to enter that would be Type down below 10K or any number with the word K after it, just a K, simple letter. And if we get 50 likes, I will be giving away 10K to a random commenter, boys. So let's get it. And there was the roster update. There's the new players. There's the man of the month. So first off, I'm going to show you guys the man of the month. I was actually just looking at it, and a lot of cards just went diamond, and they're pretty awesome. But if you go to this clutch right here, I'm going to show you from the top of it, actually. So we've got Tim Anderson, Kirby Yates, Glass Snow, and Chris Paddock, and Pete Alonzo. My favorite car right here, new paddock on my wrist. This guy is a stud in real life right now. He's going to be awesome, but these cards are obviously overpriced, so I wouldn't touch these cards just yet. You know, when they just come out, they're going to be overpriced. Let it settle. There's actually a new pack in the store that I will show you guys right now. But before that, if you complete this collection, you get the new Cody Bellinger Man of the Month. Now, I'm going to show you guys real quick. If you go over to the packs, if it's still in the store, it was, it was limited, so... The uh, monthly or world, what's it called? Monthly awards, April pack, 20,000 subs. I don't recommend this pack. According to your boy, he said they're not that good, and to be honest, I don't think 20k stubs for any pack is going to be really worth it right now, considering what 20k stubs can get you a diamond player, and you're pulling this in hopes of a diamond player. It just doesn't make too much sense to me. Now, let me go show you guys the roster update, the new cards, and my personal opinion on the market right now in regards to what's going on. Now, if it, would I do the collection for the Bellinger? Not yet. I'd wait on that too. Now, if you head on over to over here, Sorry guys, my light's right in the way of the screen, so that's why I'm looking a little to the left. So now if we go over to first base, but Cody Bellinger's officially a diamond. His stats are pretty good now. They're getting up there. I still think, I still personally don't think this Cody Bellinger stats are good enough to warrant a diamond card. Like, I don't I don't comprehend why his, I think his contact should be slightly better. The dude's literally batting like 450 right now. I do not understand why his stats are so slow. And I mean, he's going to keep going up. Obviously, he did start the year as a gold. Some other cars that are going to be going down that you should be on the lookout for. If you have Joey Votto, I might be selling him just because he is going to probably go to gold. It's very hard for cards to you know, typically fall this bad, but Joey Votto's having a horrible start to the season. And he's already an 85 overall, so I think one more overall and he's going gold. So you might want to make the move on him at this point. Now, another guy who's doing awesome is Whit Merrifield. So with the new guys going up, I'd recommend you start scooping these. He might be hitting diamond pretty soon. To be completely honest with you guys, he's doing amazing. He's probably at the top of his position right now. And also, one other guy that I just noticed before was Matt Chapman. He is going up in price. He might be hitting diamond soon too. So I'd highly recommend you to take advantage of these roster updates. You get on top of these cards right here. Now, before I get into any more cards, you have to remember that with these new cards coming out, the market's going to be going down, obviously. So if you come over to left field, where I like to look because I have JD Martinez, you see the prices are already coming down. So JD Martinez was 28k yesterday. By now, now he's 23k. The market's crashing a lot, considering the new cards just came out. So I would wait maybe like a little bit longer as everyone's still buying these packs. I think they're down like I think 10,000 packs have been sold already. And once everything starts selling on put being put on the block, once everyone's done opening packs, prices should come down. This might be the prime time to start picking up cards, in my opinion. If you look, a lot of prices are down. The majority of gold cards are already at a K, which has been happening for quite a while now. But the diamond cards are also coming down. Mookie Betts has been at this price, but with all these cards coming out, they're all going to be coming down. I'm personally going to be waiting to start buying my team soon. Probably pick up some subs and buy a team once everything goes down. I've been waiting. Your boy has been harassing me to wait for Friday, so that's what I will be doing. Bryce Harper's about to go under to 30K. Do our stats amazing? I mean, they're not insane. But it's still Bryce Harper. As much as he loves him, I'm not the biggest fan of him in this game, at least. 
but apparently he's insane also Aaron Nola is a half diamond half gold looking thing right here I don't know if that means he's about to go diamond or he's losing his diamond rating I'm not entirely sure I don't play enough to know that one right there I don't know what that means but he will explain that later this is oh one of the new Caleb Smith he's doing amazing in real life actually but like I said I probably wouldn't touch the majority of these cards right now I'd wait a little bit like 23k for this Caleb uh, for this Chris Paddock is too much in my opinion I would definitely wait just a little bit longer and also if you guys want to keep taking advantage of the market you have to also remember that cards fluctuate based on how they're doing in real life so on top of these cards coming down if they're doing good in real life they might not come down too much because people are still going to be holding them Noah Syndergaard should be back on the rise now after he had an amazing game yesterday like a nine inning shutout I think he had a, yeah he might have had a complete game shutout with a home run to walk it off in the ninth so another guy that might not come down too much based off performancing performance Verlander's doing great Kluber just went out for quite some time. He might be out for up to three months with his uh, ulnar fracture on his, his left forearm, right? Whatever hand he throws with. Right forearm. No, I don't know. But anyways, he's going to be out for almost three months, so I'd recommend you might want to sell him right about now while he still has good value because he won't be changing it overall for about three months, and he might even come down a little bit with all with the injury and how bad he's been playing, and he didn't do good at, uh, yesterday either. Blake Snell, still a stud. He is down in price. He was 10K yesterday. So he is down to about 7k now. I probably should have sold them when I was told to, but I did not. So guys, you have to stay on top of this market right now. It's a little slower than expected, but that's just because all the packs that just came out, they're all getting popped right now. Once everything gets put on this block, it will go back down, even worse than it is now. So I'd wait if you're gonna buy a team. Hopefully you guys sold the team already. I'm hope hopefully he made a video for you guys telling you guys to sell the sell the players already because if you did not. But I know he did. That's all he talks about is the market. I know he did that already. Stay on top of this, boys. There's a lot of subs to be made, and too bad I am too lazy to do it. I should have done it last night. I was going to go sell my team and start picking up players. And I should have taken his advice, and I could have probably made like 20k subs, but I did not. Like this Trey Turner, he told me to sell it at 4k. He is now 2k, just about, if you just do the sell now. Obviously, I wouldn't do the sell now, but you get the point. Corey Seager's 1k, wow. Everyone is dirt cheap. Corey Seager's coming down right now. Let's see if I can find one guy that I specifically wait on. Well, like I said, don't touch the new players. I would definitely wait on those guys. Selvada, we went over that. Um, I I don't know. Bellinger's hard. I, you probably want to keep him on toast. He's, he might keep this tear up all year. If he keeps this tear up all year, he could end up pushing for like 20k, 30k stubs at some point. If he goes up to like an 88, 90. That's if he keeps up this tear. If he keeps the rate he's at right now, he will end up pushing high 80s to 90 overall with the way he's playing. The way he, his batting average is just crazy right now. Anthony Rizzo's playing all right. I don't know if he's going to warrant diamond status anymore, so he might not be usable within this market crash. Vladimir Guerrero right now is 34K. We were talking about this last night. These legends are coming down like crazy. Andre Dawson's 22K. Vladimir Guerrero's 34K, which is his stats are actually insane. He's in a, he has a 97 arm strength, like almost all max hitting stats and high vision. This card's an actual beast. So like if I was to pick a live series card over this one, I'd probably just take it at this price point. Except for Mookie, I really like Mookie. But besides the point, you gotta you gotta hop onto these legends right here. Vladimir Guerrero 34K, and he might even come down more to 29. It looks like whenever these new players come out, the players who lose in value are the innings players, like the first and second inning players you get, those three diamonds that they have. Those players have lost a tremendous amount of value since they've come out, and it seems like every new update, they lose even more. I would definitely hop on these. All right, guys, one, one quick little thing before I head out of this video. There are some new moments challenges that I was just told about also. The monthly rewards right here, and if you look at it, it is play moments based on the April monthly awards flashbacks. Complete all April monthly awards moments to earn these rewards. April monthly award guarantees one flashback card. So that means they're gonna get one flashback card from this collection, which could be pretty awesome. Now, I think it's worth it. I'm definitely gonna be hopping on those on my own account once I'm done with this video. We got Tim Anderson, Yates, Glassnow, and Paddock. And if I had to choose one guy that I would want out of there, let's see. It might be this Tim Anderson. He's fast, he can steal, run the bases, he's clutch, he has some power, he has contact. It might be him. Kirby Yates. Let's see what he's got. Good break, decent velocity, good clutch. He is a relief pitcher though, so I'm not really too excited about that. Let's see Tyler Glass now. Good break, good velocity, good clutch. Not a fan of the control. Decent stamina, decent K by nine, decent uh, BB nine. 
Let's see. What's the last? We got Chris Paddock. I'm a big fan of Chris Paddock, but these stats are not that good, actually. Bad break, bad control, bad, bad velocity. All right. So it's pretty obvious who's the winner here. If you have to get one, it ha Oh, there's a Pete Alonso too. I didn't even see that. Damn, I'm blind. Ooh. Okay, okay. So best two cards, Tim Anderson and Pete Alonso, followed by Glasnow, Yates, and then Paddock. Paddock being the worst one, which sucks. I'm a really big fan of him. And would I do this collection just yet? I'd probably wait. But if you get one of those cards and you wait on the right price, this collection might be very doable. And if we look at this new Cody Bellinger now for the end of the video, save these stats. He's got 113 contact versus right, 85 contact versus left, 111 power versus right, almost 100 power versus left. His plate discipline is 93. His clutch is a 98. His durability is 99. His speed's an 82. This card is a monster. I want this card on my team. If I, if I might actually do this collection. This might be worth it. Boys, if you get this moment done, you get the free diamond, get that collection done, get your stubs up and finish this collection, get that Bellinger, and then whatever you got left, save for this market crash. That's eventually going to happen today. Be on top of that, boys. Everything drops at three, so no one's really on this yet. But when they do, market's going to start coming down, guys. Make sure to subscribe to your boy Bugs, and make sure to drop a like. Let's get the like goal to 50 likes this video, and make sure to comment down below what you guys think, who you're going for, and what you think of this new Bellinger, because I think he's awesome. He deserves a lot more subs than he's currently got. So, boys, hook up your boy. I'm out. Hopefully, he doesn't need me again. But I'm still I'm, I'm a substitute for MLB vids. So, enjoy, guys. I'm out.